Okay, so in today's video here, we're going to show the life stage of a trematode flatworm. One of the particular life stages of a trematode flatworm. They're very complex. Usually it involves three different hosts, and this host is a snail called Cerithidia. This snail likes to live in uh, salt marsh areas where it's nice and muddy, mucky, sort of like this. And what it does is it crawls around and just... Uh, feeds on whatever it finds. Now, what we've done is we've taken one of these serothidias, cracked it open with a hammer, and we're very carefully uh, pulling the insides out of the snail um, so that we can take a look uh, for this particular life stage. Now, a healthy uh, serothidia looks like this, where down in the left corner you can see the gonadal tissue. Uh, it's nice and brown. Well, in ours, it looks all white. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tease this apart and uh, see what we can find. Now, the life stage of this certain trematode, uh, the adult is in the bird. I'm not, any, I'm not sure what particular bird, but in the bird, uh, the adult lives there, lays an egg, uh, the egg comes out with the feces, and when it hatches, it forms a myricidium larva, which is like a little bullet-shaped, uh, ciliated larva. And in about two hours, it has a gas tank of about two hours before it dies, it needs to find a snail, um, a snail host. So what it does is it goes and finds a snail, uh, gets in there, and then it turns into um, another larval stage, uh, which is Aridia. Um, so what we're looking for here in this snail is these radial larvae. Now they are, um, they reproduce asexually inside the snail, so there's tons and tons and tons of them. As you can see here, uh, there's all these little crawly things, those are the, uh, the radii. And, um, what they'll do is they'll grow and then eventually they'll form a sicaria larva, which leaves the snail, goes, finds a fish, insists in the fish's brain, and it causes the... Um, the fish to be a little bit slow, which means that it's probably going to be the one likely to be eaten by a bird, um, thus completing the life cycle.